Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> so here we are, successfully survived the first craft fair of the young craft fair season. So this one was in Nanaimo. It was called Once Upon a Craft Fair. Um, I don't know why. And there's lots of print, uh, Disney princesses and fairies and oh, yeah, was, people walking oh, around. And I didn't get any video of that. Of the, oh, of totally the princesses, forgot. yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. It's like they had um, Ursula and all of the all Disney, Disney princesses. Princess. Yeah, and then they had um, the Mad Hatter, which I, that doesn't kind of jive. But well, Alice in Wonderland is a Disney movie. Well, yeah, I guess so. Right. So, um, but yeah, it was kind of cool. So anyway, it's uh, it was very very good. Um, I think um, we can't always keep super close track, but I think monetarily wise, it was probably the most successful one that we've done so far. Yeah. Uh, last year's Christmas Chaos had been had been uh, the one, but I think this one uh, probably took the cake. We did really well. Um, I was very worried that actually nobody would want to buy the hats that I made, but. Uh, I knew. It turned out to not be a problem. I think I sold yeah. about 20 or something of the hats that I made, which means yeah. we're down to 68 of them, unless I make some more. And uh, lots of Sandy's beanie hats. Um, yep. Probably about, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I got Sandy to make about eight or nine scoodies, and we sold them all again. Every time she makes them, they always yep. sell every craft fair. Um, and Sandy probably sold about uh, nine or ten of her sweaters. Like a lot yeah. of her sweaters went as well. So it was really, really good. Um, um, yeah, it was nice that it was so close to home, just a short drive to get there. Uh, this next one is actually almost a two hour drive from our house. Uh, we've never gone as far as Courtney before. Yeah. It's about an hour That's and a half ish or so up the highway. And then we have to allow for being able to find find the place because we've never done this one before yeah and if there's snow yeah we had a little bit of snow this morning which normally we don't allow that at all here on vancouver <laughs> island it's against the bylaw yeah. but we've had several people move here from alberta and other places that have winter <laughs> and have brought brought, brought it with them. them we keep telling everybody we're full like stop coming we don't want any more <laughs> uh but they do keep coming here yeah. so um yeah we don't know uh, what's well, obviously, winter weather is good for what we sell because yeah. we're selling hats and sweaters. So, um, it was interesting though because we kind of like every year we go through the same thing. George says, You don't charge enough for your stuff, and I'm going, No, I don't want to charge too much because I want everybody to enjoy it. Well, she blah, wants blah, to blah, sell blah. them, she doesn't want to, yeah. Take them home. I don't, I don't want to sit on all this it's stuff, a hard right? line here. We live in a place where. Uh, there's a lot of real cheapy retiree people that move here that don't want to spend any money. So you definitely can't yeah. charge the kind of money that you would charge if you were in Vancouver or places and on the lower where mainland. My point was going until but, you interrupted me. Um, we did have some people. <laughs> we had these two sisters that came, and I think they bought um, about six or seven sweaters between the two of them, and they were just appalled at at how little Sandy was selling them for because, like the one sister said. The set, the sweater that she bought for, I think it was sixty dollars. She said you could yeah. get a hundred and fifty dollars for this, which I'm um, kind of going really No, no like problem. And she, I, I think she was sincere. They seemed they're very nice. Um, so they came and bought a bunch of stuff, and then she came back again the next day with her yeah. daughter and bought a sweater for her daughter. So they were probably the customers of the day, and they're both really. Uh, Beautiful ladies, like they look like models. So every sweater they put on, it looked really oh, yeah. good on them. And crazy. like we could hire them to be our our spokesmodels and modeling yeah. Sandy sweaters because they all looked really good on all of them. So yeah. yeah, anyway, it was a lot of fun though. I mean, we got some insight from you know people. I there was like what four other crocheters. Four, four, yeah, but everybody, yeah. like, nobody but was, they were all different. Somebody specialized in baby stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's not like we were competing really head to head yeah. with it, with any of the other crocheters. Uh, yeah. We had a really good spot. We were in a corner, so yeah. we had quite a large enough space. We were able to display all our stuff and yeah. um, probably the biggest display we've ever had. We yeah. had one table. Uh, so we had both of the racks with the heads, and then we had a table oh, all to myself. We never paid her for that table. With um, <laughs> with all my all of my hats all laid out, and uh, yeah. we had all all four mannequins on the go, and um, yeah. yeah, it was good. So, yeah. 
we don't know what to expect. It's, well, this was the first time we've ever done this one. Obviously, we've told them we'd like to do it again. And the same with the next two are both craft bears we've never done before. We couldn't get back into Christmas chaos because they stabbed us in the back. Yeah. They lost our application <laughs> after I personally drove the Duncan and put it in their hand. So... Yeah. I think uh, every year we kind of try and figure out what kind of craft bears we want. George is always pushing for the long craft bears with the two, three, the bigger four day ones craft that are bears. three or four days. Yeah. Um, they are more expensive to go in, but you yeah. sell way, way, way more. Yeah, and I'm like only one person. These ones that we do where everything. we go, they're in a school or whatever. You're lucky if you make three or four hundred dollars over the yeah. two days. So, which to some people that's a great you know amount of money you know but for the amount of stuff that i have most of the time it's like i'd like to get it all sold but i like he wants us to do all our crafters he wants to do big ones and i'm going like i just this is this year is the first year that we've actually had all of our craft fairs are big ones so it would have been four uh, every weekend in November, four weekends yeah. in a row, and they're all three three day ones. And the one in Duncan that we didn't get in is actually a four day craft fair. Yeah. So yeah. they're all Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And the Christmas <laughs> chaos is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. We're hoping we'll get into that one again next year. And actually, somebody told us of another one in Victoria mm -hmm. um, called a Touch of Salt Spring that's apparently also really yeah. good. We've never gone to Victoria. Yeah. Uh, Victoria is our capital city, the largest population. Um, so stands the reason you'd get really good crowds there. And, and it's uh, people have a little more money there. So it, it would yeah. probably be easier to sell some stuff there, too. So, well, we'll see. I mean, it, the problem with going to Victoria is we have to go over the Malahat. And the Malahat is a big hill and it peaks. It's, uh, and, yeah, they get and in the winter snow time, up there in the winter. You have to have winter scary. tires after October because you can get um, pretty severe winter weather there. It's about um, elevation is about 2,000 feet above sea level. So you can yeah. get into the weather there. So. so we would have to definitely get a hotel room or something. Which cuts into our profit. It's, it's a nice and... getaway, but Victoria's hotels are very expensive. Yeah. Well, that one hotel that we were at, it's not bad. Well, if we went and got something, it would well, be off season. Well, so. if we just did like a motel <laughs> instead of like a yeah. fancy hotel hotel. Like yeah. when we do it for Dragon Boat, it's kind of like a almost our vacation. So we yeah. stay at a very nice high-end hotel. But, with the um, stupid toilet. Yeah, with the Space Age <laughs> toilet that squirts Sandy from 20 feet away. <laughs> um, anyway. But, you know, it's like... Considering how many years we've been doing craft fairs, I mean, we're still trying to tweak things. I think, you know, if these next two craft fairs go really well, um, then I think we've pretty much narrowed down what we want to do for the years going on. I'd like to get into hopefully these three plus Christmas chaos and yeah. maybe that touch of Salt Spring. So that would be five <laughs> craft fairs, um, five weeks really? in a row. Um, and I'm sure we would be done... These are a lot of fun, but they are incredibly exhausting. Like, it's amazing. Oh, my God. Um, you know, I clean carpets all day. Very physical job. Tomorrow, I'm actually doing two entire apartment buildings, like four floors, plus about 90 stairs in each, in each of the buildings. And you would think that that's really tiring. And I will be tired. But, boy, the end of sta just standing for seven hours at a craft fair, I we were we almost crawled home on Friday. Yeah. We were, our backs were... We're sore as heck at our legs yeah. and everything. It got actually better as the weekend went on. I guess we got a little more used to it. Well, it's but, funny because I expect that from me. I don't expect that from him. Well, he Sandy's sitting the whole time and I'm standing yeah. and dancing and yeah. talking to people and selling and yeah. lying to them and telling them stories. Him. <laughs> I didn't expect him to be as hurting as he was on Friday. Yeah. Well, you know, it actually kind of worried me, but, well, you know. Well, it's been busy at work, though, too. Like, we've had um, an extended, uh, up until this week, we haven't had winter until this week. So, last yeah. week, we actually had days that were 25, 26 Celsius. So, when the weather's nice like that, I tend to be busier on the carpet cleaning front normally by this time of year. It's like, mm -hmm. this This week is going to be slow. I've only had three jobs today. I've got the big jobs tomorrow, but after that, I've got two on 
on Wednesday, nothing on Thursday, and then we're going to be crafting. So it's going to be, and this is a time of year when it does traditionally slow down a little bit. So but yeah, but now, <clears throat> excuse me, because he works for DoorDash, he's got to keep up his top dasher, which is a hundred deliveries a month. So this is going to be the time now that he can do his dash. Well, that's the challenge that. because every weekend, other than next weekend, we're crafting. Yeah. Um. So. I have to get, a, I have 32 so far this month already. I need to get a total of 100 and keep my ratings up and I maintain this. Yeah. Very, very important to have this because then you can control when you want to work and you, you have a little bit more control over your situation. So I, on the other hand, will not be skip, doing skip the dishes this month, I don't think. Because, well, I mean, I was sick for weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know, and now I'm having to get into doing what I got to do for these craft fairs and um, you know, baby's coming in December, you know, like it's, I got a lot of stuff mm -hmm. going on. So, you know, not to mention that now is crunch time for the movie marquee challenge that I'm doing with Heather, the crochet, wow. Witch. we've got this last two you months signed to signed yourself up for this stuff. Yeah, I know. So. But, and then I've also got, um, my gift exchange with, with Angela, Angela for yeah. my precious yarnery. Why can't I say her damn name? My precious yarnery. Yarnery. My, my precious. My. <laughs> I cannot. I don't know why I had such a hard time with that. Um. So I've got that in December, but this month is going to be crazy. Yeah, it's busy. a crazy month. Crazy because he wants me to get on making more scooties. I know he does. Well. Every time she makes them, we sell them. So yeah. we sold what nine nine scooties is is four hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. Ten. They're forty five dollars each. So ten is four fifty. Yeah. So nine is four hundred and five dollars, and we sold them all. Yeah. So. But you know, I mean, and then I've got what else have I got? Oh, I, um, that reminds me. Before I forget, Angela has put a call out to um, all the crocheters out there she's doing a auction no she's <laughs> raising money she's raising money it's kind of a fundraiser her husband's a volunteer firefighter no this is for something else oh no yeah no never mind um she's doing for the veterans um she's going to be doing an auction so she's asking for people to help um no wait back up now I'm... <laughs> okay she's got a couple of things going on and i'm trying to keep track of everything okay. sandy's gonna raise money for the alzheimer's <laughs> society <laughs> apparently um okay no she's got a veterans thing going on where she's raising money for the veterans and then she's also got her husband's a firefighter and he's they do gift baskets for the kids and everything every year. So they want to make hats and so, mittens. Yeah, hat, hats, hats and, and mittens, mittens for the kids. For the baskets. And so she's putting a call out because she's only one person too. And she can't make all of them. Um, I can't make a mitten for my life. I can't do two things uh, at the same. So if there's any Yarnabies out there that can make mittens for the kids from baby up to... Uh, age 12 um, contact Angela from my precious yarnery I will have her link down below uh, and if you can send her some mittens that would be wonderful she's making hats I'm gonna try and get George to make some little hats you might get a little cranky later. yeah so what we've actually never made little little yeah hats this would be I'm gonna experiment so with one after we get off the video here yeah try making one and kind of see yeah. how it comes out yeah so um, so that would be great if you guys can maybe do that for her. Uh, what else? Uh, I, I, that's it. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Sandy's going to be adding the video montage of our crafty weekend to this. And I guess this mm -hmm. is going to be on the end of it. Yeah. And, uh, we'll record some next week. So let us know how we did out in yeah. Courtney where we've never yeah. been. Yeah. And I'll try and get extra footage at the next craft fair. Um, we were just so busy at this one that I just couldn't 
take as much video footage as I wanted to. Because so. the darn people kept buying stuff off of us. We couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. I couldn't even go to the bathroom. People were lining up to get into this thing. It yeah. was insane. We could see the line snaking like almost a block down the road for people wanting to get in. It was nuts. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. So, I think that's, I think that's everything. That's right? everything. That's everything. We'll talk to you next week, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Yarna Bees. It is Friday. It is the first day of our craft fair, of our first craft fair. On our way there, George is in the van because all the stuff is in the van, and I, there's no room for me. <laughs> so I have to take my car. Oh, a little nervous. Um, I get that way every year when we our craft fairs and um, I guess we'll see how it goes but I'll try and do as much video as I can showing our setup and uh, see if maybe I can do a little thing where I show some of the crafts that are there. I don't know how people will feel about that but we'll see how it goes. Okay you guys so we're here and OMG the space is huge. I don't know how we're gonna fill this space. It's like a 10 by 10 space and I'm going, oh crap. I sent George home to get some more tables and uh, my other mannequin and my spiral rack and oh, yikes. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. So, got some sweaters. There's all of George's hats. He's been busy. Busy boy. And I've got some, um, slept, what do you call them? <laughs> Leg warmers, there we go. <laughs> Got some hats, some scooties. I only got a couple of. Oops, hit the wrong button. You weren't even recording all this yeah, time? Yeah, I was. I got a couple of boot cuffs. Got a couple pairs of fingerless gloves. And then I have some headbands and some scrubbies. And then over here have some cowls. Oops, that doesn't belong there. Uh, got some cowl and hat sets. And some um, just cowls. And then we got storage. <laughs> got all my sweaters here. And some more sweaters here. And then we have a George, <laughs> looking very Canadian. Hey. <laughs> hey. George is selling his house. It's really funny. <laughs> Good morning, Hernabees. Today is our last day at this craft fair. Oh, it's been a bit of a haul. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Not quite awake yet. Um, we've actually sold quite a bit of stuff. And uh, we're pretty happy about that. The craft fair went really well. So um, I'm hoping that our next two craft fairs are going to go just as well. Um, I'm a little concerned because... Uh, it's supposed to snow, and we're gonna. This is the next two craft fairs are gonna be the farthest out um, that we've ever gone. So, and a friend of mine got into an accident yesterday out that way. She's okay. Uh, she's shaken up, but um, she hit black ice. So, <clears throat> kind of started to freak me out about. Um, where we're going to be going so but yeah 
yeah so anyways today's been good it's been really good and uh i'll be glad when it's done so i can relax and rest and maybe get some more stuff made but uh i got a lot that's gonna be going on pretty soon so okay uh, i'll see if i can't get some video footage um of the craft fair I, I kind of feel weird about doing that, you know, because it's everybody else's stuff. And I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll give you a little shot here. So, <clears throat> we've got, it goes here, it goes all the way down, way down the stage is way down there. And then on the other side of this, it goes all the way down. Then there's another room over there, and there's another room going that way. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's cool. So anyways, I'll probably do um, a vlog uh, just to you know with me and George just kind of talking about the fair and and how it all went and stuff like that. So, okay, I will talk to you guys in a while.